So talk me through then what, what other things can kind of go wrong with offsites? What other things in your experience have you seen where these sorts of things have, have not gone to, to plan? What, what are the mistakes that a lot of people make? I think trying to do too much. Um, again, the article that I wrote recently, I just scoured through all the conversations that I've had with teams and the offsites that we've run at Bracket and realized that there are kind of three areas that you can use an offsite for. And this, you know, this can be at um, C-suite, but it can also be sort of other teams within an organization. Um, one of the top reasons that people say, you know, we want to have an offsite is because it's for the kind of team bonding. Um, and we, we want to build our team, that is great. But then if you're expecting business results out of that as a result, then you're going to fail because you haven't, again, specified team bonding is one thing um, and, you know, getting to know each other, maybe doing some kind of activity that is more social. Then there's might be um, a category which is around learning together. We want to learn new skills, understand a new topic that we haven't covered before together and then there's the um the creating together which is kind of like the traditional strategy development often when i speak to um leaders that want to run off sites they kind of got all of those mixed up um into we want to do an off site and it's because we want to connect better as a team we want to learn this topic perhaps ai and we want to um, develop some new ideas for our next project together um all of those are fine to want to achieve if you've got the time that it's possible to talk through all of those things together. If not, if you've got half a day or a day, then you're going to have to make some choices about what you what is most important to do. And so I think that's the first thing: having sort of fuzzy goals. And if you have fuzzy goals and you don't really get the 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 output, um, I think the other thing as well is connected to the fuzzy goals, the the misaligned expectations. And thinking just by getting people together and having a conversation and even kind of, you know, having a focused strategy discussion, they will be changing the business afterwards. Uh, you know, I, even in my early days of facilitation, I kind of felt this as a facilitator, getting a team together, having a really great conversation and knowing this is the concept behind my book workshop culture, but knowing that even though the team had had a great day together, there needed to be more work for them to really see the results of that in the business. And that transition from having a really creative, engaging, ideas generating conversation to translating those ideas into things that are actually going to make a difference is actually quite difficult. You know, sometimes it's about resources. We need to get more resources to do this. Maybe we need to do more research. Sometimes it's a capacity or capability issue. You know, sometimes the things that people want to do as a team, you haven't actually got the skills in your team to be able to implement them. So there's a, sometimes a real big gap between the idea and the execution and whether people have the ability to, um, first of all, put them into place, but translate that is, an, is another thing. And that's where people can get disappointed by the results of offsites. Cause that's interesting, isn't it? Because like you said, they have big expectations, right? That somehow, you know, two people are not getting on or two teams aren't getting along, stick them in a room together, they'll work it out. Plus coming up with a strategy, yeah. plus learning about all these things. So there's a huge expectation on that in such a short amount of time. And you're only going to be disappointed yeah. on the, all three of those things because you haven't got the time to do any of them in any depth. That's really interesting, isn't Absolutely. it? So sort of taking it a little bit more slowly and creating a bit of structure around those different elements. And I really like those three elements you talked about there, wasn't it? The the kind of idea of that's was it alignment learning and socializing Social learning and creating yeah, those yeah. three as well it's just focusing i suppose time on each of them if that's what you want to do but being clear on which are the ones you're trying to do at any one point is going to really help you to make Absolutely. sure you get those goals off the end of it now that's a really lovely way to think about it and what about that then so you mentioned sort of people often have quite high expectations around sites workshops these things as well what about kind of white space around some of this stuff then because again you know you can pack that day full of stuff is that is it important to pack things and get everybody working all the time what's what about white space and other space around some of that stuff yeah absolutely i mean interesting because there's a bit of research that i refer to um i think it's called um off to plan or off to lunch and it's something about strategy workshops and it actually says that it's, you know it talks about this challenge of you know, having a really intense day to focus on these things and the lack of follow-up in the business. And it actually says that it's much better 
to do shorter strategy sessions over a, a longer period of time than try and do these kind of intense sessions together. I mean, the thing is, is the intensity feels good, doesn't it? And there is value to that intensity. But in terms of impact, actually, what we want to do is shift the behavior in our organizations to bring more strategic thinking in a more regular and consistent way rather than only once a year. Um, yeah, mm. that's, I, I think that's, it's, there is something to, to the intensity, I, you know, the, the white space, the slack, I mean, when you're running a workshop, we can't work at full pelt all the time. Anyway, we do need to have some downtime, some time for individual thinking, the spaces in between, 